talk about an incredible story developing overnight. Questions now swirling around the death of Boeing whistleblower John Barnett. He was a safety and quality control manager for Boeing for decades, who became one of the most vocal whistleblowers against that company. Police say he died in South Carolina after he had reportedly been testifying in a deposition as part of a major lawsuit against his former employer. Nick's here with the very latest in the story. Nick, he was set to appear for even more questioning that same day he was found dead. Timing is, is suspicious here. Timing is suspicious, Marky, and it remains an active investigation. Barnett was in Charleston to testify against Boeing as part of a class action lawsuit. The Charleston County Coroner's Office said Barnett died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. By Saturday, when Barnett didn't show up for questioning, police went looking for him. Police say the 62-year-old was found in his truck outside of his hotel. Barnett spent 32 years working for Boeing, including as a quality control manager at one of the two U.S. factories that built 787 Dreamliners. Just two years after his retirement, Barnett told the BBC about his concerns that the push to build new airplanes was leading to a rushed assembly process that compromised safety. And he spent the last five years blowing the whistle on what he saw as substandard safety protocols. Speaking to TMZ about the Alaska Airlines door plug blowout earlier this year, Barnett said, quote, what we're seeing with the door plug blowout is what I've seen with the rest of the airplane as far as jobs not being completed properly, inspection steps being removed, issues being ignored. Another Boeing employee turned whistleblower, Ed Pearson, told News Nation's Connell McShane an almost identical story about his time at Boeing. I started seeing a lot of problems in the factory. This was in 2018, and uh, we just saw a deterioration of quality. And, and meanwhile, the, the airplanes are being rushed out the door. There's huge pressure from corporate headquarters to get these planes out the door. And employees are tired, they're fatigued, they're making mistakes, there's not enough of them, uh, parts issues, all, all kinds of issues. It was absolute chaos. Absolute chaos. Barnett's death comes as additional reporting from the New York Times claims the FAA found dozens of issues throughout the manufacturing process during a recent audit. The Times reports the FAA reviewed 89 separate aspects of the process and Boeing failed 33 of them, including a mechanic allegedly using a hotel room key to check a door seal and another using Dawn dish soap marquee to a door seal as lubricant. In a statement, Boeing said they were saddened by Barnett's passing and offered condolences to his family and friends. Police tell News Nation the events leading up to Barnett's death are part of an active investigation. Marky? Yeah, something just not adding up here. Hopefully, we learn more in the coming days. Nick, thank you for those updates. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.